Brief overview of property tax in Saskatchewan. Property tax is imposed on land and improvements. It is calculated using the assessed value of a property. In most cases, property taxes are calculated using the ad valorem basis of taxation. This means that property taxes change proportionately with the value of the property. Property taxes include a municipal portion, which includes municipal and library property taxes, as well as a provincial portion, which is comprised of the education property tax. Properties are classified into three classes, agriculture, residential, and commercial resource. The taxable assessment of properties in each class depends on the percentages of value set by the province. A property tax rate, also known as a mill rate, is used to calculate property taxes. Municipal councils set the mill rates for the municipal property tax portion. The mill rates set by a municipality depend on how much revenue council feels is required to meet budgeted expenses. Local tax tools. Tax tools are mechanisms used by municipalities to redistribute the costs of public services from one property class to another. Tax tools can only be applied to the municipal portion of property tax. Municipalities have three tax tools that can be used individually or in combinations. Mill rate factors, minimum tax, and base tax. The first tool, the mill rate factor, is used to adjust the mill rate by increasing or lowering the actual tax levy for a specific property class. To calculate the municipal portion of property taxes when using a mill rate factor, the ad valorem tax calculation is multiplied by the mill rate factor. There is currently a mill rate factor limit of 9 to 1. This restricts the ratio between the highest mill rate factor and the lowest mill rate factor of any property class. The second property tax tool is the base tax. In this case, municipal property taxes will be determined by adding the base tax to the ad valorem calculation. The base tax may be applied uniformly to all property classes or differ for different classes, and it has no limit. The third tool is the minimum tax. In this case, the municipal property taxes will be either the minimum tax set by the municipal council or the ad valorem tax calculation, whichever is greater. Minimum tax may apply uniformly to all property classes or differ for different property classes. The minimum tax tool also has no limit. Calculating property taxes. Municipal councils establish a mill rate for each property class. The mill rate represents the amount per every $1,000 of a property's assessed value. The mill rate is determined by dividing the amount of tax revenue that the municipality requires by the total taxable assessment and multiplying that number by 1,000. Suppose all three property classes have a taxable assessment of $100,000 each and a municipal council proposed a uniform mill rate of 10. That mill rate is applied to $1,000 of taxable assessment. Therefore, the property tax levy for each property will be $1,000. Remember the three tax tools? Municipalities often use the first tool we discussed, the mill rate factor, to distribute the tax burden among property classes. For example, let's say a municipality has a mill rate factor of 0.5 for agricultural properties, one for residential properties, and four for commercial and industrial properties. The mill rate factor is then multiplied with the mill rate to determine factored mill rates used to levy a municipal property tax. 
Therefore, agricultural properties will be levied a factored mill rate of 5, residential will be levied a factored mill rate of 10, and commercial and industrial properties will have a factored mill rate of 40. Remember, the properties have the same taxable assessed value. Therefore, when the mill rate factors mentioned earlier are considered, the property tax levy for the agricultural property will be $500, $1,000 for the residential property class, and $4,000 for the commercial property. Let's use another tax tool, the base tax, in our example. Suppose the municipality has a base tax of $2,000 for all commercial and industrial properties. The tax levy for the commercial property is now $6,000. Now let's discuss the tax tool limits. As mentioned earlier, legislation puts a limit on the mill rate. With the sample calculations, the lowest factored mill rate is 5 and the highest factored mill rate is 40. To calculate the mill rate ratio, we divide 40 by 5, resulting in a mill rate ratio of 8 to 1. The mill rate ratio of 8 to 1 of our sample calculation is within the current legislative limit of 9 to 1. The mill rate factor limit only considers the mill rate. In contrast, what's called an effective tax rate considers all three local tax tools. The effective tax rate is also referred to as the average tax rate. An effective tax rate is the total municipal property tax levy for a given property class or subclass divided by the taxable assessment for that property class or subclass. Within a municipality, after all tax tools, such as mill rate factors, base tax, and minimum tax are considered. In our sample calculation, the total tax levy for the commercial property is $6,000, $500 for the agricultural property, and $1,000 for the residential property. The effective tax rate for the commercial property is 6%. Using the same formula, it will be 0.5% for the agricultural property and 1% for the residential property. An effective tax limit sets the maximum ratio between the highest effective tax rate and the lowest effective tax rate after all tax tools have been applied. In our sample calculation, the lowest tax rate is 0.5% and the highest tax rate is 6%. The effective tax rate ratio is 6% divided by 0.5%, which is 12 to 1 and differs from the 8 to 1 ratio we earlier determined using the mill rate factor limit. More information on municipal property tax tools can be found online at saskatchewan.ca.